won't be forgotten Losing's not an option Even if the world is against me I won't be forgotten Losing's not, not lose. an option Even if the world is against me I won't feel this right here I promise I will fight I will keep it Yo, what's going on guys? I'm overall also known as Swag Tech Um I think I'm standing in a pretty decent position. Hopefully you guys can see me and I'm not all cut out. And hopefully, you know, my microphone is picking up well. Every time I do a video, there's always something new and different, right? And, I mean, that's the way that I get to where I'm trying to go. Trial and error, learn things, move forward. And you guys are just along for the ride with me. Um, today, we are taking a look at the GKMS, which is that beautiful Genesis atomizer sitting on top of one of the Frankenstein Segeli mods that I've put together. Um, <laughs> it, it's amazing. Stainless steel construction, pyrex glass, those blue O-rings, I freaking love to death. I've had this thing for close to a month now, and I've been putting it through its paces, I've been vaping with it, I've been rebuilding it, I finally found a build that I like and that's performing very well, and so when we do the close-up, I'm actually going to clean it, and I ain't going to rebuild it, I'm sorry. So if you're looking for me to do like a cool rebuild on this, wait it out, I'm still experimenting, I wish I had another one, because when it's working well, you really don't want to touch it, because it works amazingly well. It's not that it's hard to get it to work well, it's just that uh, you don't want to lose that feeling. So once I get tired of this build, which eventually I will, then I'll rebuild something cool. But for right now, this is very useful to me as it stands. I'm going to take a quick preliminary, pre, preliminary vape, and um, we'll talk about it, and I'll tell you, how, you know, I'll tell you everything about it. I'll tell you everything. Everything you need to know. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm lost. Yes. All right, Ooh, yes, <laughs> I like that. All right, so what's going on here is I have a piece of stainless steel rope running as my wick. I have SC-116 ceramic sleeving in there, um, which is in between my wire and that stainless steel rope because stainless steel rope isn't a flat surface it makes it very difficult to get out any hot spots um, any shorts and things like that so it's easier to have some sort of barrier between the two most people use mesh um, I, I still just love the flavor of XC116 even though it's hard to get now I'm always on the hunt for the stuff I want to hoard it and keep it all to myself Actually, I want you guys to have some, but I definitely want a zombie apocalypse supply for me. At any rate, um, the build that I have here is running at 0.5 ohms. Um, nothing too dangerous. Um, I'm running that with a Panasonic CGH18650 CGR. CH, that's it. CH 18650 or the CGR 18650 CH whatever those extra letters are the gray one is the one that I'm using it's my favorite battery even I've tried um, M and KE they're okay but these are just working phenomenally um, Orbtronic will be the next ones that I give a shot but at any rate that has nothing to do with the GKMS I'm rambling <laughs> um, this guy is stainless steel, of course, like I mentioned before, Pyrex cap, um, blue O-rings to Pyrex tank with the blue O-rings to hold that tank in place. Um, when you pop the hood here, 
you have two O-rings, which denotes the new version. Um, there's a previous version, Todd, who does e sig reviews out of the UK, does great reviews and great minds. I enjoy watching his videos a lot. He reviewed an, an older version of this, and they've made changes based on his recommendations, and they have been great. Um, a shorter top cap, which improves flavor and thickness of vapor. Um, that's pretty much it. Everything else I'm kind of going to cover when we do the close-up. So instead of me going through all of this stuff now as I stand here, um, how about we do the close-up, you guys get a good look, the technical specs of it all, and then we'll come back in and have some fun. Alright, so let's go for that. Yo, what's going on guys? This is the close-up look at the GKMF. Um, a close-up that I have previously recorded and since deleted. So, I am sad to say, you will not get to see me take this thing apart. Good news is, you ain't missing much. If you've seen a rebuildable taken apart before, or a Genesis taken apart before, then you ain't missing nothing. Um pretty simple stuff here underneath the hood which is really what we're going to talk about as well as discuss some of the particulars about the the Jenny itself so um, what we're dealing with here is full stainless steel construction with a Pyrex tank um, there are a total of four o-rings two o-rings to hold on the cap keep it nice and snug um, and of course two o-rings to hold on your tank one at the top and then one at the bottom you have a total of four wick holes each wick hole is 3.4 millimeters so as I'm talking how about I get to pointing so you have a wick hole here there's another one here along with a negative terminal and your positive center pin so there will be two coils if you want or one coil on a u-wick or you know no coils at all because they do have plugs and screws you have your main wick hole here which is not threaded does not have a a screw to go in there and plug that up so when you're using a single coil you are going to have to use this wick hole I don't know why you would want to use a different one because they're all exactly the same and they're all the exact same distance from the center pin brilliant as fuck right exactly um on the other side here you have and I'm rotating there we go other side you have another two wick holes your primary one and there's another one so that's a total of four wick holes there is another negative connection here as well as of course your centralized center positive pin so you can do pretty much whatever the hell you want yes you too can be Bam Margera and do whatever the fuck you want to do <laughs> um, you have a fill hole here and it works just as well as any other fill hole would nothing really special about that when you order this guy everything uses allen keys and he does include the two that you will need for free so you didn't charge anything extra for them it comes with them and of course if you have an allen key set then you're good to go there as well so it's not necessarily proprietary um, I, at first I was thinking to myself wow that kinda sucks because I have to travel with allen keys but really I don't with my multi-tool um, the flathead the yeah fits there just fine and for the smaller one I have a smaller one that fits just fine and they work well without any stripping like I said solid stainless steel if we move the tank itself aside or actually we just lay it to the side here and deal with the top cap specifically the top cap I mean it earns its own little section here because it really makes 
the atomizer or makes the Jenny. A good top cap could be the difference between a quality vape and, you know, a humdrum vape that you just make good. And when we're dealing with things like um, mass produced, when we're dealing with mass produced products like the RSST or the AGA or um, the I forgot what it's called. It's by UD. It's the one with the dripping atomizer and the Genesis all in one. I don't have one, so I forgot the name of it. When you're dealing with those, a lot of the times what you'll find is... Oh, God, I can't get the top cap off here. Sorry, Yano. I just put that in my mouth there. But um, you'll find that they're very thin. There's a hell of a lot of space there. And... It changes things. If you look at the difference, this is an AGA top cap, and this is the top cap for the GKMF. Now, the GKMF is a 20 millimeter unit, so um, of course, there's a two millimeter size difference as far as how big the actual atomizer is. But even then, look at the thickness of that cap. Look at how much space there is. With that reduced chamber, it's going to give you better flavor, it's going to give you thicker vapor, and it's going to give you warmer vapor. So even with a larger air hole, your vape stays pretty warm. As far as the precision of the unit itself, when you put this together, you put the top cap on, I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, I have the light on, and hopefully it's getting in there, um, but the... Here, let's see suck that out <laughs> the center post is right there so you're not going to be able to make anything where the wick is higher than the center post and you shouldn't have been doing that anyway um, if it is taller than the center post one of two things will happen you may short out or um, you're going to push your wick down in there push your coil down and it's going to change the shape of your coil so be mindful of that when you're building. That's really not going to be a problem because the center pin has thumb screws, which is great. And those thumb screws will actually adjust themselves up and down to the length of your coil. So you're able to just build beautiful freaking coils on this thing. And I've built great coils. And the reason why I'm just now getting around to this review after having this for so long is because I finally built a decent coil with the stainless steel cable, which was my goal before I did the review. I wanted to get a little bit of knowledge on the thing first. Okay, guys? So, as far as under the hood goes, that's really it. You have a 3 milliliter capacity. So with 3 mils, I think that's plenty for a Jenny for Jenny. I think that's good. I mean, five mils is nice. Three mils ain't so bad. Actually, three mils is pretty good because by the time I vaped five mils or something, I want to taste something else. So three mils is pretty perfect for me. Anything else that I need to know? Nope. Everything is everything is there. Your positive pin is made of brass. Um, all the nuts and screws are stainless steel. It comes with a Teflon drip tip, which I currently have on another mod, so it's not handy to show you. And, hey, that's all there is to it. Stainless steel, stainless steel, Pyrex, brass, more stainless steel. And damn it, it looks fucking sexy. So that's the close-up of the GKMS. Again, this is a Frankenstein Segeli mod that I put together. It's been modded to all hell. Um, if requested, we'll do a closer look video on that. But we're going to take this back up top, kind of wrap this thing up, do some vaping, and have some fun. Let's go. Alright guys, so we've gotten through the close-up. And you've got to see it in all of its glory. Got a little information on the technical specs of it all. 
And now really the only thing there is left to do is vape it and enjoy it. Um, for roughly 130 bucks, and this is a rough estimate, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. Um, I did also get an extra Pyrex tank, and also they're shipping from Poland, um, and PayPal fees. So roughly $130, we'll say. You get something that could arguably be worth 175 and the reason why I say that is just looking at the current state of the market and what a lot of modders are charging for their high-end atomizers um, when you're looking at retail what is it uh, the K fund it retails for 175 bucks if I'm not mistaken and it's a great um, it's a great rebuildable I've had the chance to use one finally and it is it, it, it's a good purchase and eventually I will save enough money to do so but at the time it's not on my list I am enjoying this I'm gonna do some funky builds with this in the future we're gonna have fun try out quad coiling try out u wicks try out different wicking material it's gonna be great we'll enjoy it uh, but for now the only other thing left to say is if you are a member of Vaporwall I really suggest that you get on the list for one of these if you're not on the list. Um, it takes about a month and a half for your name to come up, but once it comes up, it's pretty fast. He sends you an email, you send in the payment, he sends you your Jenny, and you're good to go. Um, that's about the same as getting in a co-op or a group buy or anything else nowadays. So I fully recommend it. Um, you know, I suck at doing a scale of 1 to 10 because I don't sit down and rate it on this level and that level and this level. The only thing I can say is, if it's in your vape budget to get it, definitely do if you have gotten to the point where you're ready to start playing around with different builds. Um, the one hole in the RSST is not enough for you. You've modded it, now you have two holes, it's still not enough for you. You, you know, tried the AGA and you've modded it and you, you're, you're wanting something more. This is just a logical step in my eyes. It's not that difficult to get once you get on the list, and it's more than worth the money. I'm going to vape this thing. <laughs> well, actually, I'm going to grab some water first, and then I'm going to vape this thing. Give me one second. Where's my water? Thing? <laughs> um, and I'm going to vape this thing because I'm really tired of talking. I'm tired of talking and just staring at it with that pretty blue juice in there should finish my sentences well here we go now I do have a fan on them and I don't really think the fan is doing much by way of harm to my vapor production, but for science, we will remove the fan from the equation. This is the best part of my day. By the way, is when I get to vape on camera. This is one of the reasons why I love doing videos so much for science. <sighs> Pretty good. Pretty freaking awesome. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it, man. This is a GKMF. This is a 50-50 mix on the juice, by the way. Six milligram strength. Um, battery is not fully charged. I did use it to clean the coil earlier. So we're looking at about 3.8 volts, maybe the 3.9. Doesn't feel quite like a full four. Um, that's it. I'm pretty sure there's a little voltage drop here on this Segeli mod. They are known for having such, even though this one's Frankenstein together with brass contacts.
Oh man, I'm loving it. I wish we could convert. Like that would be the most awesome thing. As I sit and vape, then I can actually talk and blurb and blab about all kinds of things. And you can talk to me and we can all talk like a big ass Google Hangout vape me. I wonder how many different cameras we can get going in a Google Hangout. Somebody email me that and let's see if we can't set that up. It sounds like a fucking blast. Okay, I digress. I'm Orel, also known as Swag Tech. Um, this has been the GKMF. I have been bouncing from side to side of this frame. I'm pretty sure you're tired of seeing me move. I enjoy doing this, guys. I don't want to do anything else but vape. <laughs> um, vape and enjoy life and enjoy music and have fun. So hopefully we can make that happen. Hey. You guys have a good one. Keep vaping. Safe clouds and all that. Until next time, and hopefully it won't be as long. I'm pretty sure it won't because I'm starting to get all the little pieces that I need to put them together so I can do this whenever I want. You guys have a good one. I'll see you around. Hello, stainless steel cable. How are you doing? Every time I think I'm going to stop a video and I have something like this in my hands, I never want to stop because that means that I have to stop vaping. Um, fuck it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, no long after show. Look, you guys have a good one. Email me, talk to me. I'll be happy to talk to anyone about anything. Good comments, bad comments, whatever you got. I'm open to hear them. See you.